Okay, I'm losing the light. So, I'm going to do the um, surprisingly stretchy bind off. I've done a bunch of increases, made like a little toe. I've knit and then I've done some ribbing. I see that it's getting hard to see. So I'm, I've got my needles in place to, um, sorry, got my needles in place to go ahead and do the, um, the bind off. Well, I'm trying to get adjusted to where I can easily do this. I've switched to Continental rather than, um, There we go. I've switched to continental, so I'm going to hold the thread over the back of my hand, control the thread with this finger, and for the super stretchy bind off, before I'm, I'm, I'm knitting, I've got, it's hard to see because of the light, but I've got to knit one purl, one knit, one purl, one knit, one purl, one knit. So I've got a knit stitch to start off with here to bind off. And before a knit stitch, you're going to do a yarn over. And for a knit stitch, you're going to do a reverse yarn over, which means the yarn comes over the from the back and around the front of the stitch. And the way I remember this is because the yarn's in a perfect position to knit after this this kind of a yarn over. So you're going to go ahead and just do the yarn over, and then knit that stitch as usual. And then you're going to pass, oh, come on now, like acrylic. I'm not a yarn snob. I'll use acrylic, but this is, I think it's Red Heart. I'm sorry. And Red Heart has a bad reputation for a reason. Okay, so I passed the yarn over over the knit stitch. Now, before, now I've got a purl stitch. And before a purl stitch, that's different, you do a regular yarn over which means you, um, why is it flying here? Kids left the door open. Um, you do a regular yarn over, which means the yarn goes from the front to the back, and that leaves me in a really good position to do the purl. Whoops. And then you pass the yarn over over the purl stitch, and then you pass the knit stitch over the purl stitch. And you can do both yarn over and the other stitch at the same time, but I do them separately because I'm still learning this. So here's your, let's see, reverse, right from the back over the front is a reverse. And then, uh, I'm not knitting very tight. So the yarn over goes over the stitch and then the previous stitch gets pulled over the stitch so from the back so from the front to the back yarn over for a purl stitch then the yarn over goes over then the other stitch goes over when I say back to front I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it both of them at the same time both of them at the same time. Okay. Front to back. And then both of them at the same time. Back to front. And if I get it wrong, well, I'm oh, I should have done both of them. Front to back. And you've always bind off a ribbing and pattern. I guess. Back to front. I guess. If I mess up and I do my yarn over backwards, I'm sorry. This is awful yarn. Awful, awful yarn.
Now the last time I did this bind off I used double brain needles. So I'm going to go back to doing them separately because I think I think I can control it better that way. Anyway, it's hard to say. I used double point needles the last time I used this cast off, this bind off, whatever you want to call it. And when I came to the end of my double pointed needle, it was just really easy to just start using the next needle and just go, go, go and drop needles as I went. I'm going to pull some more yarn. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to this point or the end. I don't know. You don't know. Oops, i got to do my regular yarn over, I guess. Yeah, I'm back to doing them separate. See, i got to think about it. Every time I do it, i got to think about it. Try it again. Two of them at a time. The yarn over and the stitch. Okay, the yarn over and the stitch at the same time. Um, but I'm this pulls so much on the stitch. I think I'm going to do this separate for that one. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, you still have to move this stitches down. How am I going to put this over? Um, oop, oop, dropped, dropped my stitch off. Do you see it? Do you see it right here? I'm going to... There we go. There we go. I'm just going to hold it like that. Okay. So now what are we doing? Just move it around like I'm going to keep going. Whoops, sorry. See? And the yarn over. Wow. I mean, I dropped the stitch right off of there and picked it back up. I didn't drop it on purpose. Dropped off my needle by accident. hope the microphone's picking up my inane chatter. I... I'm not sure I like it. Oops, sorry. Not sure I like the new system, but whoop, made that yarn over really huge. Not sure I like it. I'm still getting used to the cam. And these videos are like way long because I sit here and do stuff, and I don't have a video editor software right now. This is totally amateur. Um, just like with the figure eight cast on, I make no claim that this is my invention. This is not my invention. There are plenty of places to go online to see it. I, I just want to, I think I want to make one point that helped me learn this and then you can go on to somebody else who's better. But I find it easier to remember what to do with it because it seems like when you do the knitting part of it where you're going to bind off the knit stitch, it just really seems natural to have the yarn laying in that spot like that with the reverse yarn over because it, because it was like, okay, which way does this go for the knit stitch and which way does it go for the pearl stitch again? But that seemed to be really, really natural. And then when you do the pearl stitch, having the yarn around this way and doing the pearl stitch seemed really really natural and to work really really well so it was like a help to me to remember what to do and that's just I don't know if anything that's what I want to get across and mainly the point is if there's something that helps you remember what it is you're supposed to be doing with a particular technique 
you know, even if it doesn't say it in the instructions for the technique, you know, it's something for you to remember for yourself. Anyway, I'm almost to the end. I'm not going to show the end of the bind off because I think there's a few places online. If you Google Jenny Super Stretchy Bind Off, again, that's J E N Y, Jenny's Super Stretchy Bind Off. If you Google that, you will find, um, well, first and foremost, Cat Port Eye. And I think she shows in that video the way to, to end your circle, circle, ribbing for your sock or whatever. I, and I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to finish that. I'm not going to cut the yarn. I'm just going to be nice and stretchy. It looks nice. It's kind of cruddy because this is stupid acrylic. It's like a little toe. It could be a little hat for a little stuff and all. So I don't know. But that's the super stretchy bundle. It's not that great with acrylic though. Alrighty, I don't think I'm going to do any more videos today. I want to do some more today, but like I said, I'm losing the light. Um, there you go. Thanks.